Okay, what I'm about to say is a shock. It's unprecedented. It's it's the most mind-blowing thing in the history of ever, so I hope you'll sat down before you hear what I have to say. Here goes. Blizzard has upset people. I know, I know, this is an unheard of crisis, if we're being perfectly honest. We are in the situation room right now. But Blizzard has released Warcraft 3 Reforged and, well, people aren't very impressed with the game itself. It has not lived up to expectations, it is not considered the major upgrade people were expecting. And the really spicy part is a change to Blizzard's acceptable use policy for Warcraft 3 Reforged that states, any customizations you make to the game, any changes, any modifications are owned by Blizzard. The policy says, Custom games are and shall remain the sole and exclusive property of Blizzard. Without limiting the foregoing, you hereby assign to Blizzard all of your rights, title and interest in and to all custom games, including but not limited to any copyrights in the content of any custom games. If, for any reason, you are prevented or restricted from assigning any rights in the custom games to Blizzard, you grant to Blizzard an exclusive, perpetual, worldwide, unconditional, royalty-free, irrevocable license enabling Blizzard to fully exploit the custom games or any component thereof for any purpose and in any manner whatsoever. Whew. You further agree that should Blizzard decide that it is necessary, you will execute any future assignments and or related documents promptly upon receiving such a request from Blizzard in order to effectuate the intent of this paragraph. To the extent you are prohibited from transferring or assigning your moral rights to Blizzard by applicable laws to the utmost extent legally permitted, you waive any moral rights or similar rights you may have in all such custom games without any remuneration. Without limiting Blizzard's rights or ownership in the custom games, Blizzard reserves the right in its sole and absolute discretion to remove custom games from its systems and or require that a custom game developer cease any and or all development and distribution of a custom game. Please note that your Blizzard account can be subject to disciplinary action in event that you do not comply with Blizzard's request or this policy. Well. That's quite comprehensive. I mean, it looks like the user policy got a more extensive and comprehensive overhaul than Warcraft 3 itself. At least according to many, many fans who are pissed off, which again, is so unusual for Blizzard. So yeah, Warcraft 3 Reforged, a remaster of the original Warcraft 3, if you couldn't tell from the name, has been a bit of a disappointment among people who expected more, primarily because Blizzard made them expect more. Now I'll get back to all the legal stuff in a bit, let's go through some of the other complaints Cutscenes have proven to be one of the biggest sticking points. People were expecting big changes, big dynamic changes to cutscenes in the game, chiefly because Blizzard showed some pre-release cutscene material and it looks way better in that than it does in the finished product. So for comparison, we will look at the Warcraft 3 culling campaign trailer that Blizzard put out and then we'll see the same cutscene they showed off in a gameplay video that Gameplay World uploaded. So let's have a look at those. Oh no, we're too late. These people have all been infected. They may look fine now, but it's just a matter of time before they turn into the undead. This entire city must be purged. What? Oh no, we're too late. These people have all been infected. They may look fine now, but it's just a matter of time before they turn into the undead. This entire city must be purged. What? There was a lot promised with Warcraft 3 Reforged, not just the cutscenes, which as you can see are quite different. The user interface was supposed to be redone, there was supposed to be a lot more dialogue recorded for the new version. And while there have been some tweaks and additions, it is nowhere near the dramatic remaster, the dramatic overhaul that people have been led to expect. The UI has stayed more or less the same, there have been some changes made to voice lines but not big redos. It seems that the entire remaster has scaled far back from where it was originally supposed to be and, you know, people aren't too fond of that. Now can you guess what the Warcraft 3 subreddit is like? 
Hmm? Let's have a look. So I thought it'd be fun if we could, uh, you know, just stroll through the Warcraft 3 subreddit together. So here we go. Look, there's a nice little banner there. It says Warcraft Reforged. 17 years of Warcraft 3. Very exciting. Let's see. Okay. So we've got patch notes here, you know, blah, 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 boring stuff. Warcraft 3 Reforged. Refund request denied. Breaching Australian consumer law. I think we've had a story like that before. I know it was a recent thing, wasn't it? They, uh, oh, I can't remember what the game was, but there was some other company that got in trouble over the Australian refund thing. Um, I'll look that up and bring it up in a bit. Uh, who else came to this subreddit for the first time just to see the carnage? Um, they say, let's, let's read that one, let's have a look. Uh, jokes aside, I'm legitimately sad to see a game I grew up with treated so poorly. Here's hoping the reaction forces Blizzard's hand so everyone can get what they thought they paid for. If they don't get a refund before then, P.S. R.I.P. Custom Maps. So, there we go, they were there just to see the carnage, which I guess, you know, that's what we're here for. Look, a meme! I love memes. Is this memes? Uh, Sir Kyle, pre-order doesn't mean shit, okay. When you pre-order a game, you're just, I should click on it, really. When you pre-order a game, you're just committing to paying for something that some assholes in California haven't even finished working on yet. You know what you're getting from pre-ordering a game, a big dick in your mouth. I can't remember if that's from the actual thing. It must be. I haven't watched that one in years. That's the the, the one that was tied in with the Stick of Truth, wasn't it, that South Park? I, I don't really watch South Park anymore. Used to watch it. Uh, then I got a job. Um, Blizzard... <laughs> I don't even know what I meant by that. I don't even know. I mean, if you haven't got a job, I mean, you know, don't feel bad about it, you know, unless you're wanting. Um, Blizzard just proved again... It's not like I got a real job. Blizzard just proved again that their company is a fucking joke. A fucking joke. All right. Um, so this is this is stuff about the maps again, the intellectual property of the maps, uh, the the ownership that Blizzard has on anything you create within, which is basically because Blizzard slept on the MOBA train and they don't want to be in a position where that happens again. Um, this one's fun. Reforged. There's a meme. Look, it even says meme. You see, there's that one where the Jesus face got scrubbed, got scrubbed, scrubbed, scrubbed all up. I'm rubbing my hand on the desk to make a scrub just a I mean that just is gonna sound bad in the microphone but anyway it's when that person scrubbed that Jesus and then it went all mashy uh, so reforged that's the joke of it uh, here's another one Blizzard pulled out a spell card on us uh, hearthstone I know what that is can I have a popular twitch channel now um, so yeah just I mean basically they've just gone all in on the memes now Having a glass of water while I go through this. Yeah. You versus the ghost she tells you not to worry about. You got Warcraft 3 Reforged, Age of Empires, Definitive Edition 2 there. I've seen that come up before in comparisons. I've seen some people, like, I've gone through comments and backlash to this, and I've seen people say, well, you know, let, we might as well just get AoE. Um, until the sky rang fire and a new enemy came, um, I don't get that. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll look a limbo. With the user reviews, the user score on Metacritic, and that's a fun joke because it's going under that, uh, which it did according to this because now it's 1.5, not 1.9. So to answer this immediately, they asked that 11 hours ago, can we go lower? And then three hours ago, they got their answer, yes, yes. Um, telling people how to refund Warcraft 3 Reforged makes you get banned. For some reason, as I was scrolling down, I misread that just then as telling people how to refund Warcraft 3 Reforged makes you get a boner, um, which I'm sure it does for some people, or, you know, a wet spot or whatever it is you've got going on, you know? However you uh, communicate your sexual anticipation slash gratification slash uh, boner equivalent, uh, spot the difference that 2002 to 2020, they're saying there's no difference, okay? None. Uh, look, this charts the, the, the drop. 1.7, 1.6, 1.5. It's getting swarmed on Metacritic. The whole thing has just pissed everyone off. Look! Star Wars! I get that reference. Anyway, look, it's it's just this over and over and over. They, This happens. We, we know this happens now on, on Reddit. You know, people get pissed off at a game and then the subreddit becomes really fun to read for a while. Uh, so, you know, full of memes full of criticisms, people aren't happy, people aren't happy, 
complete reimagining, which it ain't, you know, that's the thing. Um, plans change, things scale back, but the, uh, the sheer volume of scaling back, plus it's been pointed out that some of the stuff that's not representative of the game, that's not representative of the lack of, of, of scale, when it comes to changes, some of the basically some of the images that are not representative of the game are still being used to advertise the game on websites and stuff like that. So you know the whole thing's uh, a bit of a pisser, really. So anyway, that's what the Reddit looks like. Hope you had fun looking at that. So let's go back. Let's circle back before we leave and look at that legal stuff again. Some people have pointed out that there are similar user agreements out there. Basically, if you are making custom content, making custom maps, custom game types, modifications, anything to, to change an original game, or, you know, a game owned by a company, be careful because they may want to essentially just dominate anything you make without royalties or whatever. Why this story is so juicy is that Dota, the thing that kicked off the MOBA trend, which was, you know, really big for a while and made Valve a mint, that was originally conceived as a mod for Warcraft 3. And Valve saw how popular it was, got in there, hired the modder, and then began work on Dota 2, which of course would turn out to be a huge success. Blizzard wasn't too happy about that. There were legal challenges to the ownership of the thing, but you know, Valve's kept Dota going, and Blizzard attempted to crack into the mobile market with its own title, the Heroes of the Storm. We all know what happened there. They eventually gave up on it. But it looks like they don't want to be in that situation again. And so here we are. Any customization you make to Warcraft 3 Reforged is Blizzards. So basically, if you have any original ideas, if you have an idea that you think is going to catch on and become a big community thing and something there might be money in, don't do it in a Blizzard game. Do it somewhere else. Somewhere where you may be able to benefit from it. But then again, more and more, I can't recommend enough doing nothing with a Blizzard game up to and including playing the fucking thing. They do just seem to be getting worse and worse, which I find funny because, you know, when I started criticising Blizzard's business practices, they could do no wrong. Their shit smelled like barbecue ribs, but welcome everyone to the party. I've kept some cake for you. That's a lie. I ate it because I'm fat. 